Whoa. That is cool. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So for quite a while now, I've had this idea to try and design a Tesseract, which is basically a four dimensional cube. And I've seen some cool, like, two-way mirror objects before and I thought that would be a great place to start. So I came up with this initial design and I think I'm going to try to make like a series of them using some of them will have electronics, some will just be analog like this one. Let me show you how to build it and you can totally build your own so you'll everything will be available to you. So this is what you get from Shapeways. You get this outer frame piece, this little inner cube. And then you need these eight Tritium vials, which is like a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. I get mine from uh, Mix Glow. I'd say it's probably the cheapest place you can get them and they come really quickly. And then finally, you need a sheet of this two-way mirror. Oh, there I am. And you can get this on Amazon. I'll have a link down below. So light can pass through one way and not so much the other way really only works when it's dark. So I'm going to quickly put this together and show you how to do it and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all finished and hopefully it looks pretty cool. I don't know yet. We'll see. First time putting it together. Let's go. So first I'm just going to take these templates that I actually just printed on a regular printer and then cut out by hand and I'm going to uh, spray adhesive them onto the acrylic just to give me a guideline of what I need to cut out. And you only need six of the small ones and six of the big ones, but I've got eight here just because of the way I made the template. So you can download that file and just print it on your home printer, and you can just follow the lines there. It just makes it easier. Okay, we've got those cut. They're not the easiest things to cut on the saw. I had to weigh them down on one side because they're super light and I'm used to cutting thicker acrylic. This stuff kind of chips a bit, so you kind of have to figure out your own way to do that. But if you have a laser cutter, super easy. There's also a DXF file that uh, you could download. So we got those cut. Got a whole bunch of them in case some are not looking so great. So now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hot glue them onto here for the inside ones, and then super glue the outside ones because there's not a lot of holding space. So I was going to hot glue these in, and you can, but the fitment is nice enough that they just snap in. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. They don't, they don't come out, and uh, I don't expect to be really hard on the finished product. So the blue side is the side you look for, look through. So the clear side is the side that you want to reflect. Definitely recommend a laser cutter for doing this though, because these cuts are pretty rough. The centerpiece. Okay, now we'll install all the tritium vials into the Tesseract. So these are all just uh, friction fit into the holes. So they're gonna go into here and into the corners of each one. And then it will actually hold this piece in the middle. So I did this before without the mirrors just to test it out. It's a bit heavier now. So I think you start with two here and then it kind of supports it. And you just work your way around because this material, SLS nylon 3D printed from Shapeways, it's flexible. So that's gonna work to our advantage. And that's why it's even possible to do this. So get the four bottom ones in. Now you've got a pretty solid support. And we'll work our way around on the other ones. Just kind of flexing the frame to get them into place. And uh, Obviously be gentle with the tritium vials. They're glass, pretty durable, but I wouldn't try to flex them or bend them. Just try bending the 3D printed part. And one more. And there we have the suspended inner part of the Tesseract. Got the super glue out. And we'll just throw some in the corners. Making sure we don't get any in the actual center where you can see it. I 
Okay, now that we've got it all assembled, this is definitely a prototype version. Don't really like the way it assembles together. It's pretty difficult. I don't like using glue, so I'm definitely going to do a version 2. And of course you can still make it, but let's kill the lights and see how it looks. That's pretty cool. Tritium's very dim, so you definitely need a really dark room. Even like the edge of the blinds being open is too much. Just wish they were a little bit brighter. Pretty cool. So a few things to do to this version, but you can obviously make it if you want, and you can reuse the tritium vials in the next version if you feel like building that one too. Don't know when it will be out. Okay everyone, you know the deal. If you uh, want to make your own, there will be links to stuff in the descriptions to the Shapeway store, and this is definitely something I'm going to keep working on, keep revising, make it a little bit better, and also do some other versions like I mentioned, uh, maybe with like actual LEDs or something. I just thought this would be cool because it literally requires no batteries or anything and it actually looks really cool in the dark. So keep following around and yeah, you know the deal. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and consider becoming a patron so I can continue to release these projects open source, which means you can just use the files, you can change them around, you can do your own thing. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see the next version. Anyways, everyone, be good, have a good day. See ya.